When I was younger, I wanted to be a pediatrician or a teacher. I loved spending time with kids. I loved their creativity and imaginations. The first time I watched Blood Drawn, I almost passed out. That's when I decided that pediatrics were not the route for me. Since that day in the eighth grade, I've wanted to be a teacher. When I entered university at Dayton, I was surrounded with new ideas about social justice teaching and provided with opportunities to better teach minorities. My love for kids was challenged as I encountered children and students who were very different from me. Instead of pushing against this difference, I sought ways to become a better teacher for all learners. I took classes to receive a certificate to teach English to speakers of other languages. When I entered senior year, I saw myself as a teacher that will allow students to have a voice in the classroom. I wanted to be a teacher that supported students using techniques I have learned in the TESOL program, differentiated and interesting instruction. When I began EDT 459, I didn't know what I didn't know. There were numerous strategies that we learned to make class more engaging for students. We also learned that students learn best from each other. Slowly, my idea of a discussion-based classroom changed. I realized that students can't just talk, but they need to make meaning in pairs, in groups, in presentations, and through individual writing tasks. One strategy that I want to incorporate from class is power writing as a form of writing to learn. Next semester during student teaching, I will teach Speak, a book dealing with rape. I can use power writing as informal assessment and as a task for students to think and reply to the heavy topics we read in class. Another strategy I want to use is graphic organizing as a note-taking strategy. Students all think in different ways. Through my case study project, I realized how much students appreciate when you recognize differences in the way students process and provide them with options for meaning making, even if those options are simply different note-taking strategies. A third strategy I want to use with my students is I Am Poems. I Am Poems allow students to creatively step into the shoes of a character and exhibit their understanding of plot, theme, and deep analysis of character. As a class, we took a field trip to the Dayton Art Institute. One work that stuck out to me was Slingshots Lit Number 4 by Robert Rauschenberg from 1985. This socially and politically charged collage reflects life's ambiguities. The piece is three-dimensional, incorporating light and motion. Its description notes the paradoxical relationship of contemplation and introspection, but never an explanation. In my class, students will learn about the literary term paradox. I can show my students this image and ask them to power write about how they would describe the image using the term paradox in order to write to learn. In EDT 459, we discuss the struggles faced by English language learners. This class has encouraged me to use language objectives in order to better serve these learners. Language objectives allow English language learners to know what is important to understand for class content, but it is also useful for all students to explicitly learn essential vocabulary for a lesson. This class has provided me with strategies that will assist in my ability to reach all students using engaging and student-centered strategies. Because of this class, I will be a more effective teacher.